generic greetings and welcome back once again to Airships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverage is a nice lemon and lime juice drink with lots of ice because heat wave. Either way, welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies. And we are going to build another vessel, but this time it's not going to be an airship nor a static structure, but indeed a ground ship. Let's go to design and fight and to the land ship editor and open design. And we can see that we only have two designs that we've made. The SP Elk, which is very much... Um, a sensible design. It was copied off what we classed as, uh, I think it was called the Winter back in the day, and this is an improvement on that design, and it is very, very effective. However, it's also very expensive. And the SP Llama, which is basically just a load of blisters on a thing that's tall, so there you are. In this one, though, we do want to make something that is, well, the big, uh, there's a couple of holes at the moment in terms of our. Um, fleet options for the ground ships and that is boarding planes and long range fire and it's this long range one I sort of want to tackle now immediately when you think long range fire I think aerial torpedoes 1600 meters however they are tier 4 similarly guided missile brilliant longest range weapon in the game however maximum accurate range is 6600 meters again not ideal suspendium ray is really good 3300 meters but again tier 4 suspendium cannon is 3300 and that is a really really precise weapon it is basically a rail gun however again it's tier 4 so everything that is fairly accurate is in that sort of tier 4 or above category we want to make something that's say tier one or tier two at most so what could we use well going down the list uh that's a bit we can't get and it's short range anyway uh, i said an aerial torpedo is out the dorsal turret is only 610 meters and tier three front turret is tier three harpoon gun definitely not heavy cannon that is a tier 3, that's a 1,100 meters, so it's not bad at all, however, it's uh, still, like I say, a tier 3, though. Heavy turret is tier 4, so we're ruling that out, and even then, it's got the range of 840 meters. Light sponson is pretty low, mechanical tentacle, which we were messing around with in the last episode, again, quite low. Massive rocket is good, but uh, 450 meters. The rifle is good, maximum accurate range is 1,100 meters, so 10 Technically that is one of the most accurate and we could just do a rifle spam that would be all right but again the damage wise it's not great uh suspendium cannon no we've already covered that i get standard cannons are pretty good i bet they're surprising yeah so standard cannons it requires gunnery tier one and the maximum accurate range is 960 meters pretty good imperial cannon is tier two so it's good but sadly although it's a preposterously large weapon it only has a maximum accurate range of 400 740 meters so actually the cannon is one of the best it's got a very decent maximum range it's got a very decent arc of fire and it's all a flamble and it may explode it's it's still just a very good weapon and it's tier one whereas the heavy cannon is a little bit longer ranged but only by only by a little only by a little uh bit but it explodes easily so um yeah, that's, that's far from ideal, and it's also tier 3. Do we want to make something that is either tier 3? I mean, this thing is... This thing's already tier 2, tier 4... This thing's tier 4. So I think we do want to, we want to make something that's about tier 1 or 2. So that rules out, sadly, the heavy cannon, which was my original choice. What about the ballista? So yeah, the ballista's, like, not very good at all. Okay, we're actually going to use standard cannons, which is interesting. So I'm just going to make a design that is based on cannons. And we'll have 12 cannons in total. In terms of speed, I couldn't care less how fast or slow this thing is it's as long as it can basically turn up on the field that's all i really need it to do i'm going to go with an ammo store on each area here it's actually gonna have quite a number of ammo stores in terms of our resources and stuff we'll have to uh, select those in a moment but we're going to go to quarters here and place quarters there there and then there obviously i'll connect it up well, I'll do that now, so it's over to... Oh, actually, you know, if we put it further forward, we would already have the good connections there because, obviously, the ladders are there as well. That's actually pretty good. The problem is that I am um, uh, not able to... 
Actually, can we do something like that? We can do something like that. Okay, that is what we'll do. The connections aren't great, but if we just go over to our basic and corridor we'll ladder, one, two, three. That's now legit. It's in. It, well, say it works, I don't know yet, but it's in. All right, so over to our command and crew again, and we do want a bridge most likely, which I will put on the top. We also want a, a reserve cockpit, probably near the back there. I'll be altering that later on anyway. We want a telescope that is tier two, and we're not going to have one then, but we will have a crow's nest that's tier zero. So I'll have that at the... Uh, I think we'll have it. I tell you what, you know what? We'll make it a bit different and we'll place this in here and then we'll have it at the back there. That looks pretty good. And you may notice we've stepped it about a bit. That's because I wanted to put the crew quarters in between and it just gives it a little bit more definition than otherwise uh, it may have. Let me just check. Let's see. Yeah, we'll put a couple of those in. That looks. That actually looks pretty alright. It's just not a big brick, which is my main issue that I was uh, worried about. In terms of armor, we're going to go with steel armor. Um, heavy, uh, sorry, steel armor. Yes, yeah, steel armor requires tier 2. No, we can't have it then. We cannot have steel armor. Heavy steel armor is tier 2. Sorry, heavy... Right, steel armor is tier 2. Heavy steel armor is tier 4. Brick wall would not be sufficient. Wooden armor is good. Reinforced wooden armor is tier 2. So it's going to have to be wooden armor or steel wall, which is the best. Wooden armor is HP 50. Steel wall is HP 36. Weight is 2. Weight is 2. Wooden armor absorbs 2 blast and 4 piercing. And this absorbs 5 blast and 3 piercing. So it's got more than double the blast damage absorption. And slightly less on the... Slightly less on the piercing. But it also has less less health so maybe wood is the way to go on this one right we need to make it move it's currently weighing 1816 so in terms of propulsion then we are going to go with i guess oh hang on ah technically that would work <laughs> i don't like the idea of that though this is going to have to be tier two we can't not have it at tier two because the tr the Propulsion systems is tier 3, tier 2, tier 3, tier 3, tier 4, tier 2. Has to be tier 2. Okay, in that case, we will put in Command and Crew a telescope because... Ah, that requires optics, though. It's another thing to research. I think it is worth it, though. I think it would be worth it. Right, so that's now in. I'm going to place it a little bit further forward in that, then further back. To then connect all of those up and we don't need we don't need more than one track but that just see <laughs> it just seems off balance and the reason it seems off balance is that it is off balanced we could use large tracks let's have a quick look if we put large tracks in there no it looks ridiculous okay so we're just going to put in our uh, small legs no because they're tier three we'll put in tracks one there and one there and then connect those up. But in terms of armor, steel armor. We might as well steel armor this thing up. There you go. So if we didn't have that, can we have it? No. So we'll do that. Right. We need coal and we need some more crew and we need a supply hatch or two. Let's try that out. So over to, hang on, where was I going to put this? This is a cockpit. Uh, the cockpit where it is is fine. We don't have a way to repair. We don't have a med bay. We don't have any of that. And I think it would be actually advantageous for us to put one in. So we have a machine shop that we could place, which I... What does it supply? Near exhaustible supply of parts. I think a repair bay. I think a repair bay. And, well, we need a fire point. Actually, my plan was to have multiple fire points on every level like that. Or could we just go with fire extinguishers? I think fire extinguishers would be enough. What tier is fire extinguisher? Tier 2. Okay. So, we could put fire extinguishers... Well, I'm certainly going to put one up there. And... At the bottom of whoops ah yeah i was gonna say at the bottom of each ladder we can put these we but we can't 
Because that's not how it works. Though that'll have to do then. Get rid of that. Put a fire point in. There we go. That should hopefully provide enough fire suppression. We'll go to overlays and to our water. And that's good water. If I remove that, it's not ideal. Just going to remove all of those. To be honest, that's sufficient. That'll probably do. Right. Good. Um, we want a repair bay. Sorry, we've got a repair bay, but we do want a coal store. There. And we want a wooden supply hatch. Probably can do with just the small ones. Small wood supply hatch. That is sufficient. A little bit short on crew, and we'll be even shorter when I place in a... Where would it be? Resources, pair bay. It'll be under... Man and crew. Got a crow's nest. Got a telescope. Observation dome is tier 3. Not having a targeting computer. Because that's tier 4. Sick bear. Is heavy and may have problems navigating. No problem. I think we can place that there and place the machine shop there. Although we need a bit more crew. Forty-eight recommended is forty-eight. Recommended is forty-two. All right, that's what we've went with. It's a brick. How can we unbrick it? Because <laughs> it is just a brick. Well, we could put that there. We could remove. Can't remove that, sadly. Can remove that to place the water point there. We don't need that water point then, surely. Hmm. I think I'm going to remove this water point. I also think I'll end up replacing it at some stage. Quite honestly. You know what? I'm going to replace it now. I know we're going to need it. This thing seems like it's going to go on fire at any moment. I don't, do I not bother? How, much, how expensive is it? It's only 50. Yeah. Get rid of that fire extinguisher. Move that supply hatch back. Get in the corridor with ladder. Put the supply hatch there back again. Fire point. That is apparently legit. We could put some angles on it at the back. Oh, wooden. Change those to steel supply hatches. Just for the sake of looks. There you are. Um, put those in. I don't like this big bit at the back. We could fill it in. Don't know if the supply hatch is there as a good idea. It doesn't really matter though for supply hatches because we're not going to... If we're getting boarded, something's gone wrong. This is a, a vessel you should support with other things. Let's go with um, these slopes here. Oh, that goes in quite nicely actually. One just bring it up to there and fill the rest in. <laughs> What's it look like out of interest? I actually don't hate that. I really don't hate it. In fact, it looks like a Dalek. <laughs> In the sense that, you know, from 500 metres the way, when you're half closing your eyes in the dark, while there's a heavy snowstorm going on, it'll look like a Dalek in profile. But apart from that, it looks exactly like a Dalek. Right. We're going to have that. Um, what's speed? 24. So it's not that fast. So this is a ground ship. It moves, so it's any land mammal. Um, I'm called a pig. Not not a land mammal, but just anything on land. Save, save as the pig. Let's give it a go. So, uh, combat. We will add a land ship. Put the pig in. 
right at the back. 2,800 on the dot. We're going to put a building in, and it's going to be the Silent Watchtower. Silent Watcher. Place it there, start the fight. Let you see what happens. So I've put myself on aim fire. And it's firing away. See, as it's firing, we've got a bit of recoil as well. So this thing is about... This is about maybe a quarter of the cost. So we really don't need... Uh, we really are, you know, underpointing the enemy here. And they've already lost. Okay. They've... they've, they've yeah, they've pretty much got no, <laughs> pretty much got no weapons anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. It's give up. Right. Vic and Terry. Let's try that again. We're going to go for a day fight. At a building. Mm. Two bamboos. One, two. Could work. Landship. I reckon we're going to get torn to shreds here, by the way. But you can only give it a try, can't you? Gonna place it back there. Actually, no. I'm gonna place it further forward because I know that rifles are more accurate than us. <laughs> there is the bamboos, fight uh, firing away. Made of stone, but very tall. And we're at the back, getting plinked. And you can hear <laughs> just the amount of shots hitting this thing. Metal on metal, getting dented in. And we're losing parts already. We've lost the crow's nest. The crow's nest is gone. There's also some... Looks like some suspendium leaking from somewhere. There can't be. There's no suspendium around here. I think that's the... I think that's the ammo. Either way, it's not good. It's not good. Let's see what sort of damage we've inflicted to the bamboos. Uh, not much. We have taken some weapons off the front one, and some of the connecting strut work. But, we're not doing enough. Is it best we just drive forward and put it on rapid fire? That's not really what this is built for. But their weapons seem to be hitting us quite well. I'm going to see how fast it moves. Okay, it moves like a Dalek. <laughs> it's also a beach now. So, there's that. I'm going to go to max speed and just see what happens. We might get a lucky hit where it'll crush itself. Water, we're, on f we're full of water. We haven't had anything go on fire yet. As for ammo, we are coming close to half. We've also taken a lot of damage but it's mainly superficial oh hang on I think I hear explosions I did hear explosions we've lost well they've lost several weapons we just need a good hit say there and this thing will just collapse problem being that we are Low, oh, we're long crew, and we've had to have a... Yeah, I can hear explosions. <laughs> Something's blown up. Something has blown up. We can, in fact, see bits of it. And, oh, yeah. We've got lots of secondary explosions. The powder's caught. These are flammable. Oh, that's going to go. Yeah. Amistar's taken it. Yeah, yeah, that, that's gone. That's gone. Okay. So, we have lost that. That is reasonable to expect. Back up to combat then, and we'll try day fight. That's a really boring landscape. Let's exit that and go back. That's a bit better. We'll have a snowy day, why not? And we'll say land ship, the pig. Put the pig back there. And... I mean... Put it against the elk, and we would definitely be overpointed. Don't know if we'd win. Let's try it. Let's try it. Move these back here. Add in land ship. Put the pig. Start the fight. If it's coming towards me, I'll just aim fire for now. Oh no, it's stopped. I will just aim fire then. 
and I'm just going to hope that we have the firepower to take their weapons out before they take us out. We've already lost a cannon, and there's damage on, inflicted on two other cannon. Cannons? 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 Cannonses. Anyway, they've lost one of their turrets, and their top turret has just gone up. And now, they're coming in. And they're destroyed. Well, they've lost. I think we may have got lucky there on the hits. Naturally, we are overpointed. We are 3,000... No, we are 5,600 versus 4,000. <laughs> so, yes. Hmm. Uh, back over to combat, then. Let's try a night fight this time. Well, I did the landship. The pig. Put it on the hill there. And let's verse an airship. There's something around 2,000-ish. The honeybee. Oh, yeah. There you go. The honeybee. Start the fight. I think we're going to absolutely annihilate it, I should point out. <laughs> I think that this thing will absolutely destroy us. A lot of our designs... This is a retrofit, actually. The original... The original one of this is just armed with loads of ballistas, but we removed them and put on these lasers, which are extremely effective. Uh... I don't think aim fire is the way to go. I think rapid fire is the way to go before we lose all of our guns. Yeah. That's, uh... <laughs> that's effective. Alright. Hmm. Oh. Big explosion on them. One suspendium balloon and the rear end cap has been removed. We are... Probably a third firepower down. We also have no repair tools. And sadly, we have not taken out any of their weapons. There's lots of lots of damage. But it's just not just not working out. If we get a couple of good hits. Oh, okay. Their balloon's gone. So this is technically, if it was in a campaign, this would be defeated because it can't fly. But we are, we are gone. We have lost it, really. Considering that uh, we are a small metal lump in the corner, and they still have all their weapons. <laughs> hmm. The pedigree is not great for this thing, is it? Let's try landship, the pig, versus another airship. And... There we go. This is similar to us. So, we're about the same points. This is actually a little bit higher in points-wise. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cannons. And we have 12 cannons. We out-cannon the thing. It's, however, trying to get closer to us, and I'm not too sure why. But if it gets right close to that, I'm going to go on rapid fire. Oh, that's absolutely plastering it. So, cannon versus cannon, we've just got more. The advantage being as well that we are cheaper because we are a ground ship. Although, this can be built with standard technology, I believe. Whereas, our stuff's tier 2. But there's a suspendium chamber gone. One of their propulsion systems is gone. There is a fire in what may be their coal store. I can see through to the two other suspendium chambers that are in play. And they are drifting. And they are drifting back over. I think they may have lost propulsion. Oh, hang on. I know why they've got close to us. See these guys? These are boarders. And as we got closer, they've jumped off and landed on the ground. I think they're stuck, though. Yeah. That, that's why it was trying to get close. It was trying to board us. Well, let's just go there and stop, please. Okay. It's not too bad against this thing. Boom. It's gone. Okay, one more combat. Let's go for... I don't know. Snow? Rain? Snow. We'll go for... the pig. 
put up that because if if it's back here oh yeah actually back there is a bit better for us because we're not going to be able to get up or down that gully and airship that thing we've just been against is 2,852 there's the unmatched is 1,334 two of those they are a little bit underpointed but it's about right let's see what happens so they have eight guns on the field all cannon they have reinforced wooden armor it seems one propulsion system unknown amount of suspendium chambers i'm guessing at least two and the ai is doing the sensible thing and trying to flank me which it probably will do quite effectively however i can simply turn around and keep firing at the target that i've been absolutely belting since we started and i'm actually going to move further forward because i don't know if you noticed but the recoil was taking us over the hill um and that would be bad <laughs> okay um this is curious because it's parked right above me here and my guns are not in play well at least the bottom ones weren't because of the arc of fire this thing is not able to maneuver i don't know if you notice what's happened here but it's still floating. The suspendium chamber at the rear, well, both suspendium chambers are still in play, but its only engine, which is at the back there, is broken. So it's going to drift off. And because of that, it can't turn around. It has no way to manoeuvre. And I fear, well, don't really fear, I hope that this one's going to be the same because the stern of it is on fire. Now nah, they've put it out. Put it out. We are not immune to damage. We've taken hits across the board. But it's maneuvering again. Boom. Look at that. <laughs> it's um was it? One, two, three cannon are down. And it's now landed on top of us. Because their suspendium chamber is burning. I can't really dictate the direction of travel here either. And I can't really tell these guys to board. Gonna go to aimed fire. Because we're just trying to destroy this thing. And we are doing so quite successfully. It's just gonna drift off the other side of the table to be honest. The worrying part is this, because it's got weapons, all of its weapons in fact, it's even got both suspendium chambers, but it's not taking off. And I don't know whether that's something that the ship has chosen to do to keep us locked in place. But nobody really benefits from it, because I can just keep plinking away at this target here. Yeah, there you go. That's now no longer a viable target. And I can move to there. Oh, there we go. So when I moved... It, uh, it did, for whatever reason, then move that off. Draw? No. No. That, that's something I, I disagree with. There we go. Turn around. Oh, and immediately a massive hit to what I'm assuming is the coal store in between both suspendium chambers. The re-suspendium chamber is just blown up. They have, at the moment, only one suspendium chamber visible left, which is just about to blow up. There it goes. They're now falling out of the sky. And what was left of their propulsion system has now exploded. However, we've got secondary explosions all across our vessel. The ammo store's gone up. The coal is on fire. All of the top is completely disintegrated. And the weapons continue to explode and go down. We have been reduced to only two cannons. One cannons, no cannons. We've lost. We have lost. Ramming speed... We caught the edge and stopped. It says defeat, but we're all immobile. But he's got weapons, so fair point. We would lose that. It was looking okay until we had that massive explosion at the top. All right. That's the pig. It is a bit of a pig. <laughs> it really is. Um, it's not as effective as I thought it would be. Admittedly, limited sample set. Normally, we do play a little bit more. But quite frankly, I'm absolutely boiling at the moment. <laughs> and any... any um. Any more alterations and changes or analysis would be completely out the window uh, when I check it with a with a fresh mind. But yeah, 
it's only really effective against other cannon armoured things, and it does quite well against them. But, hmm, I don't know what the best thing to do would be to, to fix it up. I don't know what to do. Perhaps move the ammo stores away from the cannons so the explosion radius doesn't take out the vessel. Maybe just remove, take it down to one. I don't know what the solution to that is. I think it's fine. It's just not as good as some of the stuff we've made and some of the stuff that's in the game. Could require a revision. Could just be chalked down to it's a bad design. Either way, I would like to know your thoughts and feelings on this. What you would change, what you would alter, what you think can be improved, if anything. If there's any redesign based on the same theme, I would like to know on that. And also just your thoughts and feelings on new designs, things you would like to see, etc. on this one. And uh, yeah, as always, we will go from there. And I've just realised that that could probably go in there to make it a bit better which I will now save the design and uh, there we go either way we're gonna leave it there for now that's been a bit of a short and sweet airship so hope you have enjoyed this video and the loudest ice cream van in the world is outside huh either way I hope you have enjoyed this little bit of airships conquer the skies as always let me know in the comments what you think we should do for the next episode or anything in terms of designs changes and just general comments either way I hope you have enjoyed it thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings